God. I'm sorry. Guys, this is going to be the last movie I record before I die, so please make some noise. This is my JFL submission for the comedians in the room. Yeah! What's up? Hey, uh, at this table over here, what do you guys do? Oh, shit, I made one. Yeah, he looked, or he looked at me and then he looked away. What do you guys do? Alright, I won't interrupt. They're trying to bang their co-workers. That's really what it is, right? If you're young, you're in your 20s, you're out with your co-workers at the work, you're trying to bang, right? My co- Yo, my co-workers were all in their 40s, so I thank God I lucked out. Oh my God, you know, I kept my job for a long time. They had to fire me for real incompetence, you know what I'm saying? Not, not because I screwed someone's ass when I was drunk. You know? God, we're having fun, we're having fun, right? You got any Michael Jackson? You got them? Don't, yo, next time I come back here, you gotta have Thriller on ready. Man, or Billy Jean. Alright, Oscar, I believe you. He was over here singing like, I wanna do to be my side chick, baby. I'm like, bro. Uh, that's, that's the lane I wanna get. I wanna be an R&B singer, you know what I'm saying? Say terrible shit to women in a gentle voice, you know? <laughs> I wanna see your pussy juice, baby. Leave it on my mattress. I'm not gonna call you back. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, all right, we're feeling good. I am. Uh, I know I look uh, like uh, the, uh, a bad guy in a Telemundo sitcom, <laughs> but uh, I'm actually uh, white, black. Uh, it's 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 all right, you know. It's pretty cool. Most of the why, why you said? You don't believe me? <laughs> See what I gotta deal with over here, bro? I have the receipts. You can look at my Facebook. My dad posts a lot on Facebook and tags me in it. He's one of them. He's like reposting racial mad I'm like, Dad, you need to get friends. This is sad. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you guys, my dad is a black nerd. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. You know what? What did you think I was gonna have? Was it? You don't see no face tattoos over here, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm tired of them. Uh, like, you know what's funny is, uh, is as I've noticed that like the quickness that uh, Juneteenth became a holiday. You know, white people really felt bad about it because right? they made Ju they were like, oh Juneteenth, you guys have to put it today off. It's a national holiday. It took years for MLK Day to be a national holiday. We were going to work for years on MLK Day, and I remember because I was like, I feel like I shouldn't have to be here. You know, <laughs> but I realized I'm like that is what black people got in America was just the ability to make holidays now. Like because they. Rap, rap music, Jack Harlow took that shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, I just think black people should decide on holidays arbitrarily. What are white people gonna do? No, we don't want to celebrate Megan Thee Stallion's birthday. Too bad, bitch. Okay. Let's make this guy laugh, huh? I love you, bro. I love you too. I did. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bro. I appreciate it. A lot of a lot of big guys like me today. So, so I'm small. I'm a small man. So I need sometimes I need a you know, I need a blanket. Uh, it was funny. I was talking to a, a, a coworker at the time, and she was telling me that her children. Uh, she, was, she was a Jewish woman. She was like, the children in my school are learning all the holiday songs, right? She was like, they're learning the, the you know, they do a song from each of the religions, right? She goes, so they do uh, Christmas songs, they do uh, Hanukkah songs, they do Kwanzaa songs, and I was like, one of those is not a religion, <laughs> but also, what are the Kwanzaa songs? I'm curious. I don't know what they are, but I'm so happy those little white kids have to learn them, right? Isn't that hilarious? I can't wait in 10 years from now to, to see, you know, go to Park Slope and see all the white kids Kwanzaa caroling in their machines, you know? <laughs> I, uh, I'm tired of white people talking to me about autism. <laughs> Bro, they talk to you about autism like it's like some kind of diversity thing I have to respect. They're like, uh, I'm autistic. I'm like, bro, you don't think there was autistic slave owners? And that was the worst motherfucker to work for. Picking cotton for rain, man. This motherfucker can count this shit without even looking. He's like, uh, uh, that's only 5,000 bales of cotton. We need 3,000 more. You know? This motherfucker's just going through the fields, touching the slaves. They're like, I'm, I'm really tactile. I like the hand feel. You know? <laughs> Fucking autism. No, fuck you! No, no, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding but I want you guys to get laid tonight, dude. Go out there and bang your... I'm sorry, she's the only female left. I didn't get a pro in my spot like that. I was like, someone's got a bang tonight, right? Okay.
Who's, who's gets the most pussy out of this crew? You might. I don't know. You look like a... Yeah, you. Bro. You look like a One Direction member. What are you doing here? This motherfucker's in a Korean boy band, okay? He's out here. He's about to steal everybody's girl. Look out. Look out. What? Damn, I'm good. That's right. That's right. I can tell races. Boom, boom, boom. All right. No, I, I do get cocky about that shit, though. I'll be like, what are you, a uh, Japanese? They're like, yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Asian ethnicities like that. Uh, it, feels, it feels good. What? No, no, no. You get, you get one guess. I can't be wrong after I said all that shit. What? You're, you're white, okay? That's my guess. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys do for work? Pre-consult. Pre-consult. Alright, so they have to bang with co-working. Who's buying the cocaine? Because you guys got money. Thank God they didn't say we're like teachers or something. I'd be like, oh my God, go home. Teach the children. No, consult. Please drive some businesses into the ground, okay? Uh, what do you work for, McKinley? Go go ahead. It's, well, the world will be fine. McKinley or nothing, Or nothing? Was that correct? I'm not racist. Bro, I don't know shit about this, bro. I'm just making shit up. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm, 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 I'm not a comedian because I'm very smart. You know what I'm saying? What's up? How you guys doing? I like the guys are part of their being gang on this, right? You like their adopted son? She's like, oh, no, we're good, actually. We're good. We don't need any. We've got a dog. We don't need any little black children. Thank you. You're fine. I'm sure you would willingly adopt black children, okay? I'm very sure. I'm very sure. Um, how you guys doing back there? You guys missed, you guys missed, they, they caught all the strings. You guys dipped from the table. Right? Right? They all, they all walked away. They're like, they're, we're not gonna, they're not gonna call me out for trying to bang my co-workers. No. It's cool. That's how people used to meet. Fuck Tinder, right? Like, people used to bang their co-workers. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? Or through friends if you still have them. Bro, I don't know. I feel old. I just found out people, you could be famous on Discord. Do you know what Discord is? You look like you know what that is. No? Okay, good. Everyone here goes outside. I like that. What's up, brother? Are you an artist? I think he directs movies about food, you know? He's like, the guava in, in Indonesia is so good. You have to get close up, and you've never tasted flavors like this mango from Jawa Bahat. Um, okay. That's a place in Indonesia, I swear. Consultants, back me up. Um, that's what that's what's up, bro. They went to good schools. They know about this shit, bro. I went to a Sunni school. I, I know maps exist. That's what, that's what they taught me. That's what I got for that. I learned how to sell cocaine. That's what I learned how to make kilos, you know? All right, all right. We're, we're actually having fun, right? Are we doing okay? Yeah. Oh, look at that. The moon kind of with me a little bit. The moon kind of with me. Let me lose you right now. <laughs> bro, I've been trying to better myself. You guys, like, trying to better yourself and shit? Yeah. Uh, yo, I was trying to read philosophy and I was getting into Plato. You know that Plato wrote that the best age for a couple to get married is when the man is 38 and the woman is 18? Which sounds specifically like a 30 year old man and want to bang 18 year old pussy, right? Like that's what, that's what he did. Which is the best because he was the smartest guy in the village back then, so he could just make up the rules, right? He could just be like, oh, I think it's a good idea if I bang your daughter and your wife, right? That's good. morally good for society. Come on in, we're talking about Plato. Oh, what's up? How's it going? What's up? These, uh, these white people adopted him, so he's gonna... I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around. Alright, Yeah. You're out. What? Are you kidding? Do you own this place? No. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, I don't know. I never know. I never know who does or doesn't. Anyway. <laughs> you said, you said, kill, kill this guy afterwards. Kill this guy. Uh, that, that'd be a pretty cool way to die. Honestly, if I die on stage, that'd be awesome. I, 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 if I get stabbed on stage, you guys remember when Dave Chappelle got stabbed? 
stage. He doesn't need to get stabbed on stage. You know who needs to get stabbed on stage? Me, dude. I'll be on Joe Rogan next week. Like, yeah, people can't handle my comedy. They don't know who I am. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I, 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 I should probably leave, right? Uh, uh, okay, I'll tell you one more joke before I get out of here. Any Jamaicans in the house? Yeah! <laughs> no one yelled and I felt like... I appreciate the support, sir, I do. But if you guys have never been, yo, you should gotta go to a Jamaican party. Jamaicans have the most lit dance ever. It's called Daggering. Don't worry, consultants, no one's getting stabbed. It's essentially a combination of grinding and Mortal Kombat, right? The, woman, the man takes his belt, this woman takes her ass and just mash it together aggressively on me. Like, the first time it happened to me, I thought she was trying to rob me with her ass cheeks. Like, she's like, no, 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 take my money, you know? But then I looked it up, and in Jamaica, that shit is a blood sport. I'm telling you, it is, the, there's videos online of Jamaicans doing over-the-top daggering. I'm serious. I looked it up, this one video, the slaves on the ground, breaking it down, breaking it down. This dude climbs the DJ booth. I didn't say hops up on the DJ booth. I said he climbs the DJ booth, does a backflip, lands perfectly on her ass, and goes right into it. You understand how magnificent that is? That man shouldn't be dancing with Jamaica. He should be teaching sex therapy everywhere. You think your wife needs a vibrator? You can do some magical shit like that? She just gets in the bed. Hey, baby, dude, that's one time bomb thing. You can pull it, you know? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope everyone thanks for the co-workers here tonight. Here we go, Renee. Guys, keep it going.